Welcome to Sharing My Truth with Mel and Susie, the uncensored version, where we bear it all. We do. <laughs> hello, hello, and welcome back to Sharing My Truth Pod. And you're here with little Mel and Sus. And we're here because we love you. And we're doing this pod, and it's fun. And if you love us, and you also want to have a little fun, give us a little five stars. Give us a little thumbs up. Subscribe. You know, give us a little love. We love you. Love us back. This is not a one-sided relationship, please. <laughs> um, but yeah, follow us at Share My Truth Pod and uh, go to our website, sharemytruth.com. Hey, babes. Hello, darling. <sighs> How's it going? It's pretty much all fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> it's different every day, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, it is and there is some shit, but it's, it's not so bad. It's not that bad. That's true. That's it what, could be worse. That's what I always say. It's when I look in the mirror, I always say, could be worse. Shut up, Mel. <laughs> I do. That's what I say every time. It could be like, worse. Are you fucking kidding me? It could be a fuck me? of a lot worse. <laughs> that's all I say to myself. That's awful. Well, that's what I say. It could be, well, it's not the worst thing you could say to yourself, I guess. No. But God, you need, we'll work on that. Anyways. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we have a bit of a funny little lappy. We do. Because we got some inspo for the epi. Yeah. Would you like to know my inspo? Yeah, I do. So I saw this on TikTok, of course. Yes, my TikTok queen. Absolutely hilarious post. And this was on um, Valentine's Day. (laughs) Okay. And it was posted, and this is actually by the Irish Daily, which is like an Irish newspaper. I think it's a bit of a Is that like the Daily? Yeah. Daily Mail. I think it is. You know, somebody can come after me. And tell me that I'm wrong, but I think it is. Anyway, this woman puts this big sort of poster. And of course, this is TikTok, so it's probably not real. But anyway, she puts this big poster on this shop. And it says, and I guess it's near where he works. And this is in Dublin. And she puts, Paul, tell your wife about us or I will, exclamation, exclamation. And it's this enormous poster. Yeah. Underneath that, happy Valentine's Day, baby. P.S. I'm pregnant. (laughs) And it's just this ginormous, ginormous, like the size of a huge window. Like, and I, I guess it's, it'll, I guess it's where he worked. And I showed my husband and I, I was just laughing. I was yeah. pissing myself laughing. And he said, well, that's not funny, is it? Paul's going to have a terrible day. It's Paul's fault. <laughs> and I'm like, Paul's Sounds like Paul's did fucking it did it. Yeah. And I Sounds thought, like a bit of a Paul problem. Yeah. But then my husband pointed out, which is where the inspo comes from, is he said, look, this woman is very stupid. Because now she's pregnant oh. and she's lost Paul. There's no way she lost Paul because now she's going to fucking get him for child support. Well, yeah, but he's not going to go with her. No. He, he's Well, now he's lost his wife. He's certainly not going to go with her. And this is the inspo. I'm getting to it. I'm. I'm is, do you like the lead up? Yeah, the lead up's good. Is I said to my husband, I said, because she's a bunny boiler, right? And my husband has spent many years in the UK and been married to me, so he knows what that means. Yeah, no one else does. But I said this to you, and you were like, a what now? Uh, what the fuck is a bunny boiler? Okay. So a bunny boiler is, and I learned to, well, not today, I guess on Valentine's Day, that this is in oh. fact, sorry, that was, that was my TikTok, but it is actually a British term. Yeah. So bunny boiler, the term bunny boiler is used to describe an obsessive spurned woman that like has gone like this woman she's gone yes. a bit nuts Scorn. and it actually comes from a movie called fatal attraction i mean that's a famous movie yeah from the oh, 80s yeah. which actually american movie glenn Coase yeah, yeah. and michael douglas yeah and i believe if my memory serves me right he's having an affair with her and obviously it starts i've actually out never seen it all which passionate. i'll have to i'm trying to actually remember if i've seen the whole thing through and it's a I... very famous movie i honestly can't believe i haven't seen it yeah but the bunny boiler comes from the movie yeah, because she, I think she goes into the home, his home, and takes the pet rabbit, so that his kid's rabbit, oh and puts God. it in a pot and boils it. So he comes in and he sees this pet rabbit boiling. So the point is... So horrible and, and disgusting. Then, and then for some reason, even though it's an American movie, it has totally been adopted in the UK. So we, if we say about a woman she's a bunny boiler, she's, she's just a nut job. So she's a bit like Paul's now ex-mistress, who is like just takes it to that crazy level like lady you've lost him now like you are nuts you know like you can't do that yeah like she's been spurned i.e she's the mistress and it often is actually is she's a mistress of bunny i don't think it's always a mistress 
uh hang on we're just gonna go to another um yeah i mean you think that but she's generally sorry emotionally unstable yeah so a woman who acts vengefully after having been spurned by her lover i so it's not we personally in the uk we don't always say it's about being a mistress but obviously because of that kind of scenario and paul in ireland scenario yes it's often a sort of but isn't it scenario. funny that the man is the one who gets the woman so fucking insane and crazy? Well, that's the idea, and that it's her fucking yeah, fault, her isn't fault. it? I mean, she's probably nuts to start with. Let's Look, say. I'm not saying anyone is innocent in this goddamn yeah. little thing, yeah. but I'm just saying the man goes off, has a fucking affair, yeah. gets a woman pregnant, possibly and probably promises her that he's going to tell his wife that he's going to leave her and then he doesn't obviously and then that woman goes a little nuts because she's like well what am I going to do yeah. fucking now I'm going to fucking pregnant and hormones are a fucking bitch so there you go she puts up a fucking poster on Valentine's Day yeah. and because she doesn't know what else to do and she's because she probably because he's probably ignoring her messages and calls. oh yeah of course <laughs> Of course, but I mean, so if anybody says to you and you are in the UK or Ireland, because we have some similar expressions, yeah, and you're a woman and anybody calls you a bunny boiler, oh, it is not a good not thing. Not a good thing. It sounds kind of cute. They think you're crazy. <laughs> oh, no. They think you are totally psychotic. So just be very worried. So just don't, yeah, go to the UK and, and don't, don't have that crazy. said about you. But I mean, it. I, the thing I thought was the funniest yeah. is I thought this was really funny. And my first, the first thing my husband said was like, that's not funny. Paul's going to have a terrible day and she's lost Paul. And I'm like, what? <laughs> that's not my reaction. Paul's an arsehole. Paul's a fucking dick. <laughs> Paul's an arse. And he's cheating on his wife and he's got another one pregnant. Excuse my language. He fucking deserves a ginormous bloody great yeah, big does. skyscraper saying it on the... But to be fair, I take the point that she's now kind of... It's not helpful. I mean, it brings it into the conversation where it's like, do women who get themselves into this kind of situation, yeah. like, let's say she did know that he was married, right? Of course They've she talked, bloody yeah, knew Paul so was married. Let's say, you know, we don't even know Paul. But we, we don't even know for that of these people. But like, you know, she knows he's married. Of course she knows she gets married. herself into the situation, right? She can get a bit nuts because she's in, falling in love with him. And then, you know, like this shit happens all the time. All the time. Like, when is it like, okay, to be like, this is her fault? Do you know what I mean? I do know what you mean. Well, I think... Because obviously we're all adults here and it's not like trying to fault one person. Everyone has a little bit of fault in them. But like, what is it? Whose fault is I, I think there's lots of things going on. I think like number one, like we've said this before about women, we're often like, we don't care if they're married. You want the man, you want the man. Yes, we are and, horrible people. And I, I'm sorry, but, you know, that's not a good way to start. Yeah. If you're starting, and I know there are relationships that start with affairs. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's often not a good place. Yeah, yeah. And I, I you know, like, that. that's like my dad's married to my stepmother because she's one of his affairs. And then he went on and had even more affairs. I mean, it's not a good start. And I think that if you, of course you knew she knew he was married. You know he's married. Like, really? And then why do women fall for this line over and over again? Oh, my, my marriage is over. Like, like, fuck it is. It's not married. It's not over. And um, I'm going to leave her. Yeah, because he's he'll say anything. He wants to fuck. He, exactly. His wife probably isn't giving him anything. So or he feels he has to get her from somewhere else. Or maybe she knows that Paul's an arsehole. Probably everything and above. I'm yes. really hoping whoever this woman is is having an affair with some amazing, yeah. hunky. Paul's wife. Yeah. Or, or Paul's wife who has ginormous boobs. Yeah. And good for her. Good for her. I mean, just fuck Paul. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? <laughs> fuck Paul. <laughs> But I mean, and I, we say this, we've had no wine. We, we're drinking green tea. I'd like to caveat that. <laughs> oh my God, we should be having wine. But I think it's everyone's fault in this situation. I mean, if you knew he was married, and I know there are situations where people meet and the woman or the man, mm -hmm. because it's not fair, that it's, it's not always the man. I mean, probably proportionally, statistically, it's more often the man. It is has lied to the woman. Yeah. And she doesn't know. And I think we had this in, in an episode before where she didn't know that he was married and then she found out and then you're all the way in. Then what do you do? And I, I don't yeah. know what you do. I mean, I certainly, yeah, I mean, I, you fucking ruin his life. I think that's when yeah, it's okay I mean, to do that. I, several of my friends have had affairs with married men. Yeah. 
One of my friends from years ago, I don't really, she's like a friend from years ago from university. She seemed to have like a serial slew of of like married men and much older than her. So she was like 25. They were sort of 50. Right. And she finally, I mean, it finally hurt her so much because she fell in love with this one man. And he was, he got her pregnant and his wife pregnant at the same time. Oh my God. What are they like sister wives now? Well, the, the wife was on the third child and he'd sold oh her the God. dream. I'm going to leave her on marriage ship. Blah, no. blah, blah, blah. And then he literally sort of, I think she, my friend got pregnant first and then he, it was like, Slowly. Sorry, is your friend the mistress or your friend? My friend is the mistress. And I'm also telling the story because I don't, I'm not, we don't have a close relationship. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) I'm not giving away secrets to one of my, you know, closest friends. And she, um, she ended up having an abortion. Oh my God. And then she, she never had children. (gasps) And. Oh my God, that is traumatic. Yeah, it was, I mean, what a dick. And like she like moved to be with it. I mean, he basically sold her a this... complete line of shit. And just she... so we could cheat on his wife, pretty much. Yeah. And and she, you know, to be fair to her, she was young. She was yeah. 25, 26. She was in love with this man. She fell for it. But it kind of destroyed her. You know, yeah. I mean, she's gone on and she's done very well in her career and she got married, but she never had children. And I, you know, I understand that that can happen. And it's a bit like, you know, when you get scenarios where you get men or women in positions of authority who like have affairs, like like the professor and the student, that kind of thing. And you're like, come on, you should know better. And I think, you know, the, there are obviously lots of extenuating circumstances. But if you are in a circumstance where you know this man is married. Yeah. I understand you may think he's amazing. And I know that often as twisted as is the part of the attraction is that he's married because I think for women they think that if a man is married and particularly if he's successful they're like okay then I can have that I'm better than really her fucked up and I'm I gonna are take him so fucked women yeah are so and I'm gonna t- I want what that woman I want yes. that house I want that car. yes I want that jewelry. I don't want the kids. I, I don't want the kids, but I want all the other <laughs> stuff. He's got kids, so it's fine. Yeah, so exactly. I want to, if he's giving it to her, I'm better. I'm yeah. better in bed. I'm better looking. Yeah. yeah. He can come to me. She's the old woman now. Yeah. And I'm the new hot yeah. thing. Yeah. And men fall for that too. They do for sure. But I mean, if if you if you and it's not always about age, but no. you know he's married. Mm-hmm. You know he's married. So if he then sells you this thing, I'm leaving my wife, I'm leaving my wife. He is not leaving his wife. No. So you they are- They never f- leave their wives, people. You, they never fucking leave their wives. Yeah, you are a fool. You are a fool. Yeah. And, you know, I say I say this all the time. I don't know why I say it all the time. There are lots of men out there. I mean, why do these women yeah. get so hung up? On Paul, who's clearly a fucking loser, when there are, how many Pauls are there in the world? Like a bajillion? Oh, too many fucking Pauls. And then there's, there's not all enough the Peters. Davids and Johns. And... <laughs> so why do you have to have Paul? Go and find somebody who isn't married because women and who are, isn't women a dick. Women love the chase. Women yeah. absolutely love the game. Then you only we love have it. yourself to blame. Yes, but that's but... what I'm saying. Whose actual fucking fault is this? In this scenario, never gonna and know, I don't honestly. know Paul, and I actually we don't did, know did Peter, and we don't know. I think she did put a heart at the bottom, which I think is absolutely, and this is the music. Oh, yeah, she did. So she put a heart and then the letter T. So let's say her name's Tanya. I oh, think that good sounds for good. Tanya. So Tanya should have bloody known better. And you know what, Tanya, oh love? My God. Now you are literally buggered because you're pregnant, you've got no man. Because there's no way he's coming to you. No way. And good luck trying to get money off him because that you yeah. can, that's not easy. No, it's not. And now you can't get David because you're pregnant with Paul's girl, child. I mean, the, the level of complexity is moronic. I mean, yeah, like you're just, it's, it's in an easy situation. But women also, what do we women love? We love a game. Mm-hmm. We love to be, a, have. we love attention. Oh, yeah. And we fun. love drama. Yeah, okay, so yeah. those three things are just set up for disaster. They are, yeah. And But that's just how it's always going to be. And you're going to have levels of women who like different amounts of those things. Like me, I'm a big attention whore, but I don't really necessarily like drama that much. You're not a bunny boiler. I'm not a bunny boiler. 
but I I'm do. Not a, bu- a bunny boy <laughs> I'm not a bunny boy no. But I, I definitely can admit that I like a little bit of attention. And so, you know, you have these balances of these mm. little scales. Some might not be great, but you can't have them all way up at 100. Like, no. obviously, Miss Tanya. That's Tanya. <laughs> Tanya, who's now got lots of problems. And then all of no, Paul's what? mates have seen this poster. Oh, yeah. So none of his mates are going to go for her. And all Paul's mates are going to tell all their other mates will tell her all their other mates. What Good if luck. she's actually fucking one of Paul's mates? She could be. And then, but she's saying it's Paul's because Paul could, has more money. It could be. The whole thing. I mean, the whole thing could be. We can be. make up an entire story about this. And this just came from one TikTok. Can you believe it? I know. TikTok But it magic. did make me think about bunny boiling. And that is a specific term, women, term for women. And yes, it is What do you a men British get term? when they're so fucking crazy, huh? They don't have a term. No, but they should because men get insane too can we talk about that for a second it's called dickheads dickheads but that's they're more than dickheads bunny boilers insane you know bunny boilers are insane dickheads are just every fucking day you get a dickhead you know every fucking day get a crazy huge male who thinks they're fucking hot shit coming in your face and trying to bend you over kind of thing wow i'm just trying to say something yeah really yeah uh did this happen to you today no but honestly it happened yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, I think because Bunny Boiler is obviously is from the movie. Yeah. But it is because women's hormones. Because you know that feeling of like like when you have you when you're on your time of the month, your cycle, or anything yeah. hormonal's happening. Like you know, it could be you're pregnant, menopause, whatever. Like your hormones, they actually make you go a little bit nuts. Yeah. And I know it's fundamentally a thing that men cannot understand. Which, of course, they can't understand because they don't get it. Like, I know, for example, whenever I, and I still, this is far too much information, but I still have my cycles. And when I get to the the point, yes. like it's coming, I feel my mood dipping, yes. which is normally not low. So I know it's yes. coming because my mood dips. I know that doesn't happen to everyone. It happens to most people, I think. Yeah, but you get like morose, a bit more depressed. Yeah, you're like, what the fuck is ra- wrong get with low, me? Yeah, and you're like, what's wrong with me? I was fine yesterday, and then you're like, oh yeah, of course, of course. And 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 that's you know, and also you get like angry about everything, everything. and it's not you, Melanie. It's the things, it's the hormones going on around you, and it's very un, very difficult for men to understand. Why can't you just get that under control? No, but here's the thing: and you can't. Why? But men don't have these excuses of fucking crazy hormones like women do because we actually have these things in our body that are making us go crazy. Men have testosterone problems. They do. They have the little people swimming around. They have the people swimming around. They make them do stupid things. Yes. They drive And we don't understand that either. To get Tanya pregnant. We're like, what is your fucking problem? Yeah. Why can't you just lock keep, it up? Keep the little boys inside like, their what little fishbowl. The right? Why can't we just... They don't need to swim today. No. Keep them in the bowl. Like, what's the problem? We don't understand that either. Because I don't have to come every day. But no. men have a real fucking problem yeah. and they get angry if they don't let it out. Yeah. Well, I've told you before, the only time I've really understood it is when I've been pregnant and your boobs get like so full of milk. They yeah. actually feel like they're, they're going, about to explode. Yeah. They literally. And my... I'm quite amply well endowed. So my boobs like took over my entire body. <laughs> and I felt like I was actually going to blow up. Right. Because it goes. <laughs> oh, my and God. And so that's the it's only. Yeah. <laughs> and if you don't let it out, it's your, you feel like you're going to blow I'm up. I'm sorry, but that's not happening to men. Is it? No, I think that's the term blue balls. If they don't blue let. Blue balls is a myth. Uh. No, if they don't let the little swimmers blue out. Blue balls is a myth, no. Melody. If they don't get the swimmers out, it, well, the, it just gets very uncomfortable. they got to get them out, Susie. And Mel's going to help you all get them I'm out. I'm definitely obviously. not going to help any of you. You can go and buy a flashlight and for some you. nice porn star. So you think that the swimmers are so desperate to get out that it feels like you're about to explode. Yeah. And I think some men feel this. I mean, and I, you know, I'm obviously not a man, so I'm assuming. But men, um, for some men, it's more extreme than others. Yeah. And so when their partners don't want to have sex with them, it's really, it's like cringe. They they need to have sex. They need to get them out. It's really fucked up. Yeah. So this is what's <laughs> happened to Paul. 
And it's got Paul into a lot of it's trouble. Antonia, not Paul and Tanya. <laughs> And they're in a mess now. <laughs> What's Paul's wife's name now? Well, that's true. We We've need got to, know. to name. But the the I think the comment on it was hilarious because it was like, um, oh oh, wouldn't like to be Paul today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, no, Paul's life. Is well, imagine if there's five Pauls in that village. Okay. I know. If five Pauls in that village, they're all fucking looking around. And they're what all... if they're all fucking Tanya? I know they could be. They all could be. Well, she's quite smart if she's done that That's because she's going to get them all paying uh, whatever. I mean. Oh, good for Tanya, honestly. I wonder when she put the poster up. It was so bad. I mean, it looks quite real, but obviously in the world of AI and everything else, who knows? Yeah. But it it, it it's very, it, I thought it was very amusing, but I did think it's so funny that I find it amusing and my husband's just like, That's not funny at all. Yeah. Did he actually not find it funny no, at all? He didn't find it funny at all. He was like, How dare you? He's laugh just at like Paul. He's and he used the expression because he's lived in the UK for so long. And he's like, Well, she's a bunny boiler and Paul's gonna have a shit day now, isn't he? Everyone's having a shit day now. <laughs> I mean Paul, Paul's wife who was the gonna unborn call, child of like, Paul's and Tanya's that's called Paul's wife, Sheila. Sheila and Tanya, they're all and oh, everyone's Sheila. having a shit day. <laughs> Like, uh, so well, yeah, if you're in this plan. situation, um, I think just get help, get out of it. I mean, if, but if you're not pregnant, get out as soon as you can. Don't get pregnant because Paul's mean, not leaving his wife. To come by today. Paul's not leaving Sheila for you, babes. I'm sorry. He's not because he's probably got five other kids. Yeah, you know, and five different women. <laughs> <laughs> probably, yeah. Uh, with five different Tanyas. I mean, who knows? No, but seriously, I mean, though. But. What the Bonnie Boiler phenomenon? I would just like this is my piece of advice to men, right? Yes. If you think she's a nut job, however attractive, this is also the sexy thing. she is. Yeah. Don't do it. Why are you fucking this? Men love crazy women. Let's just talk about that for a goddamn second. Yeah. Why do men love crazy women? I think maybe because they're they're wild and the they mm-hmm. also like. Yeah, I mean, they also like yeah, drama. I, I Men also like drama. It's got to be. It's got to be. There's something about it. Orientated. Yeah. They think they're I think fucking they wild. must be. They're probably wild. Yeah. And they can't help themselves. There's no logic. This is the swimmers telling you what to do. There's no logic in this. But if you meet Tanya and she seems like a nutter, oh. there are many other Tanyas in the world. Go I do. For the next Tanya. I do feel bad. I have a friend. Um, she called Tanya. Yeah. <laughs> Is she nice? It's not about you, babes. <laughs> Sorry, Tanya. We love you. Sorry, Tanya. No, that's really funny. I know um, it could be Tara. We don't know. Ta- it's Tara. Oh, that's really funny. Actually, it's probably an Irish name, so it's probably Trish. 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 Trisha. Is that who you say it? Trisha. Because it's short for Patricia. Oh. Patricia. Irish name. That's terrifying. <laughs> Her name's probably Trish. Trish. We'll call her Trish. Oh, poor goddamn Trish and Paul and Sheila. They're going to But if your name is Paul... Trish, Sheila, or Tanya, and you uh, didn't do this, I'm very sorry, but <sighs> I found it amusing. But yes, yeah, so and my advice to men is don't go for mad women. I mean, you, you and are... women don't go for married men. No, you are both in for a lifetime of pain. Yeah. And I do understand that I know what happens to women. You get to a certain age and it's a, it's a, it's annoying thing because for women, it's much younger than men. And then everyone says to you, oh, you know, you're not together, blah, blah, blah. Whereas men have a lot longer mm-hmm. to find somebody. They just do. I, I mean, I hate to say it, but it's the truth of the matter. Yeah, they do. And women, I remember when I was 25, I met Max when I was 25. Mm-hmm. Just before I met him, and I worked in this all-male office, have I told you this before? Mm-hmm. And my boss told me, he's like, yeah, yeah. he said to me, God, you haven't got, you haven't got a boyfriend? And I said, no. This is literally just before I met Max. And he's like, we're well, on the shelf then, aren't you? I was like, I'm 25. <laughs> I'm 25. On the shelf. Yeah, said, I'm on the shelf. I've said I'm 25, you arsehole. Anyway. Um, on the shelf. That's what he said to me. But it, oh it's, God, it's just, the thing is, is that people couple up. Yeah. And then when you break up, and we talked about this actually a bit with Chantal, one of our previous episodes, that when you break up as a woman, even though you're only like in your 20s, your 30s or whatever, the men are already coupled off with the men of yep. that age. And then the men of your age don't want women mm-hmm. of that. They want younger women. Yeah. 
So they have a huge pool of people. Yeah. And women don't. It's mad. Yeah. It's completely mad. But, it, you know, even though that is the case, and I know that some people, I think there's a lot of pressure in society. People feel like, oh, my God, the person's never coming. It's not worth it. Please taste, take this. you're going to ruin like the rest of your life, which may be like another just two 100%. years of trust trying to find the right person. Take this for Mama Mel. Oh, Mama Mel. That it is not worth being with married Paul. You are better off concentrating on yourself, having, you know, fun with your friends, having a great job, you know, maybe having lots of romances and not not putting all your proverbial eggs with a married man who is never ever ever gonna give you what you want or need this is why vibrators exist ladies exactly this is why sex toys are very well made now exactly use them exactly they're a lot cheaper than a child a lot cheaper (laughs) and paul is not gonna i'm sorry paul but he is not gonna give you the you're basically with a human man i assume a for sex and B for emotion, like for for support, right? Mm-hmm. For for love, for attention. He's never gonna give that to you. No, he's married, literally married. He's never gonna give it to you. And now you've really messed it up. But also, Paul, Paul, mate, Mr. Paul, please stop going for these crazy women. They are going to screw up your life. You're now gonna have all these children yep. with different women yep. who you can never get rid of. So my father learned this. My mum is nuts. So like he could never get rid of my mum because he had a baby with her. Yes. So you are forever inextricably you bound. You the baby. Well, me, unfortunately. But the man is always bound to this yeah. nut job woman. Oh my God. And she's always bound to this guy who never gave her what she wanted. It's a disaster. So everyone, don't do it. Mel is speaking of experience. No. Mel is speaking as... Paul and Tanya's unborn I'm the, I'm child. The baby in this. Yes, you are. I'm the baby in this. Don't do oh it. Oh my god. I mean, obviously you've got the baby now, it's a bit late. But you know, please, these are big grown up decisions. Having a baby is a big decision. Yeah, you shouldn't be doing this with someone who has a fucking wife. Thank you. Can we just talk? Thank like, you. Why are we doing that? It is hard enough. What are I've you had doing? Two children in a loving pretty relationship. Nice, loving relationship in a you know, pretty settled life. Oh my God. It's hard enough. You know, oh my God, what are you doing to yourself? No, it's not good. It isn't. Oh, well, on that note. So don't do it. Don't do it. Do, have I, do you think I got the message across? I, I really hope so. I really hope. If your name is Paul, yeah. Tanya, <laughs> Sheila, Trisha, what, Trish, Patricia. Yeah, <laughs> and if you are actually from this TikTok, Fucking right. I would love when the Irish Daily and you come from. Hang on a second. Oh, she can't. She needs a glass. Need somebody a, get the glass. Uh, hang on. I gotta turn. She off. needs a glasses. Bloody she can't thing. see without her glasses. I gotta go back to the beginning. Hang on. Bloody hell. Hang on. There we go. If you are from, real Mama Mel moment. I can't read that. <laughs> Fis Fisborough, Dublin. I think that is. I that's probably pronounced that in, in correctly. <laughs> and you are any of these people. Um, I'd like you to get in touch, and I'm very sorry if I've offended you, but I've speak, <laughs> I speak, I speak a, real only, experience only here. the truth. I speak real the experience. truth. Yeah, but yeah, yeah if you do, if you guys do have any more um any stories like this one, please let us know at sharingmytooth.com. Um, you can leave us a fun voicemail. You might even be on the pod. I know. Um, leave us a little email. Send us a DM on at sharingmytoothpod. See you next time. Bye. Thanks so much for listening. Please rate and review this podcast and follow us on social at Sharing My Truth Pod and leave us a voicemail on our website, sharingmytruth.com to share your stories and experiences with us. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.